Ryan Payne, our market watcher of the morning. I want you to respond to what Larry uh, Summers just said. It sounded like he was warning ab about a Lehman moment. Yeah, and I think he's wrong, right? Okay. Um, if you look at it right now, I mean, the banks are not leveraged like they were back in 08 and 09. You know, that housing crisis that was pushed by leverage and also an overbuilding. We had an oversupply of homes back then <clears throat> that couldn't be filled. You would see these vacant, you know, housing developments no one was in. Now, we have a housing shortage in this country right now because over the last decade, if you think about it, like we undersupplied the market. Now you have every millennial wants to buy a house. Okay, so no Lehman moment, no moment of going over the cliff. But right. are stocks overall still headed south from where they are now? Well, I came on your show and said they wouldn't break the lows two weeks ago. So I'm eating crow today, uh, Stuart. Yep. But I, I think, bottom line is, everything's at an extreme right now. I mean, look, the dollar's been surging. Um, if you look at sentiment right now, it's at one of the most negative I've ever seen in my 20-year-plus career. Uh, if you look at commodity prices, they plummeted, and you see interest rates have just skyrocketed. So I think we're probably at some extreme. At some point here, it's going to turn on a dime. And if you're not invested, if you're not positioned for optimism, because there's not enough optimism out there, it's going to be a big problem if you're an investor right now. You've got to be in. I said it last time, even with the markets. I'm re still not I'm, look, great. I'm reading between the lines, and you really are telling me that this is not a great time to be pounding into the stock market because you think it might go lower. That's what you're really saying. I'm it? saying the opposite. I'm saying if you sit in cash here, you're going to be caught with your pants down because I do think that there's a lot of catalysts that could actually push this market higher. The negativity is In the been short term, there. maybe. But you, did you think they were about to? To enter a huge rebound? I do. I do. Well, you think do? about it. I mean, the labor market's tighter than it's ever been in history, Stuart. And if inflation comes down, the American consumer is going to have real wage growth in the next couple of quarters. Just, it's like pulling teeth with you. I All know. you've got to say is, no, Stu, it's not going down some more. This thing is going to rebound big time. Say it. If I knew the magic day, but yes, I do think it's going to rebound. It's going to rebound big time, Stuart. So there why you should you buy today? It. You should buy today. Don't waste time. You heard it here first. Well,